hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel this is don larry in this video today i'll be showing you how to draft a one shoulder princess that's top if you are yet to subscribe to my channel kindly do so because i upload pattern drafting and sewing tutorials every week to get started you are going to be needing your bust measurement your under bust waist shoulder and if you are making a full blouse length you are going to need that measurement once you've taken the measurement needed for this pattern, the first thing you need to do is to draft out your that less basic bodies, just like I have here. And this is the upper chest line, the bust line, the under bust line, the waist line. This is the center front. And this is the neck line. I use four inches by four inches, shoulder slope and the armhole cup. And I folded this paper into two. In case you are working directly on the fabric, so you just need to fold your fabric into two you can use your bust measurement as a guide so you just add extra inches to it so once you have this the next thing we want to do is to place the dart and for this pattern we are going to be using a two dart series that means we are going to have one dart from the ham hole one princess line from the ham hole that will be joined to the usual waist dart so to get started on your bust line you divide your nipple to nipple measurement by two and then you're going to mark that on your bust line but if you are working directly on the fabric add half an inch seam allowance to it that will make it four and a half inches but because i'm drafting it out on the pattern paper and once i want to cut on the fabric i will add that half an inch to the fabric so i won't be adding it now then you mark that four inches or whatever you have you mark it on the waistline and then you square a line to connect the two points together one and a half inches for this so i'm just going to mark that one and a half inches that means 0 0.75 at both sides then I will do the same at the waist line. Then I'm going to connect this point together. So what I will be doing next is to create the side seam. So I will create the side seam before I create the princess line that. So for the side seam, you divide your bust measurement by four. So my own is 9.25. 9.25 then i'm going to add extra two two and a half inches seam allowance to it and then at the waistline divide your waist by four so i have seven and a half plus one and a half inch that i use for the dart so that will make it nine inches then i will add two inches seam allowance to it so i will create the side seam with this mark Now that I've created the side seam, the next thing I want to do is to create the princess line that. And to do that, I'm just going to make a little adjustment to this shoulder slope. So I want to take away some inches. So I'll be taking away one and a half inch from this point to this point. So it actually depends on your preference. You can decide to leave it this way. And attach your sleeve to it but if you are making it a sleeveless top or you want to attach something like a circular top to it you need to take away some inches at this point so I've taken away one and a half inch and this one and a half inch now I need to connect it in order to create the new armhole curve so I'm just going to use my curve driller to reshape this so 
Then I'm going to shape it down like this. Then I will blend it at this point. So once you've done this, then the middle point is still the same thing. So this middle point, this is what I'll be working on. So it actually depends on where you want your princess line to be. You can make it at the middle point of your armhole depth line, or you can decide to have it in between this middle point and your underarm. So around this point. So I'll be using the one at the middle point. Once you've marked this point, then you shape it down and connect it to the bust point. So I'm just going to use the curve ruler to do that. I will mark it down like this and I will connect it to the bust line as well. Just like this. The next thing you want to do is to add this one inch, that intake. You need to add it to this line, just like this. You measure down one inch on this second line. So you need to measure it and you extend this princess line. So when you separate this panel from this panel and you want to join the two together, you are not going to be short of fabric. So that is the reason why you need to add this one inch. So once you have this, then you come to your bust line again. You measure two inches up and two inches down. And then you're just going to create a kind of notch around that place. So, so the reason why it's very important to place these notches is because we're going to be separating this panel from this panel. And this will serve as a guide for you. So that is why you need to place these notches. So what I'll be doing now is to cut out these front bodies. Then I'll just label this as one and this as two. So I'll label this as one and this as the second panel. So I'll be cutting this out and after cutting it, I will shape the neckline. So I will just add joining allowance to it. So I'm going to add one inch. So this is the joining allowance. So this one inch extension that we have, we are going to connect it to the armhole. I forgot to do that. So you, you need to connect that to the armhole. So just like that. And then we're going to cut it out. So this is what we have for the front bodies. We're going to be drafting out the back body so that we can shape the neckline together. So for the back bodies, I've drafted out the basic bodies as you can see it. I added one inch, then to the side seam, I added 1.5 inch seam allowance. And this is the joining allowance, it's just one inch for the joining allowance. So what I will do now is to create the princess line for the darts. And to create the princess line for the dart, we need to adjust the shoulder slope for the back. So all you need to do is just to place the front, you place it on it, just to mark that, that inch that we, we took away from the front. So I'll just mark it like this. And then we're going to reshape the back armhole. So this is the new armhole for the back. Then we can now create the princess that. But if you don't want the princess that for the back, you can use just the waist that which we already have in place here. So I'll be using the princess that. Then I will just connect this point, this middle point, 
I will connect it directly to the bust line. So I'll be using my cup driller to do that. So just like this, then we can cut it out. But before I cut it out, I'll be making a little adjustment to the center back of this pattern. This pattern is for me. And my front waist length is longer than my back waist length. That is because of my bust. So what I have for my front waist length is 16.5 inches. And for my back waist length, I have 15.5 inches. So all I need to do now is to take away that one inch. If I don't take it away, I will be having unnecessary folding at the zip area. To do that, I will go up by one inch. Yeah, you know I already have the joining allowance. Then I will shape from, from the side seam to this point. So I'll just shape it. So just like this, and I'll be cutting it out directly on this line. So if your own measurement is like that, you need to take away that excess away. If not so, you're going to be having unnecessary bulging at the zipper area. So I'll be cutting this out. And once I cut it out, we're going to be shaping the shoulder. Now we have the front and the back. And we want to shape the shoulder now so what i will do now is to i will take in this zip allowance so i folded the zip allowance in so i'm assuming this is the right side of my fabric so i will turn this so in case you are working directly on the fabric so you need to turn this up so right side we face down wrong side we face up and for the front the wrong side we face the wrong side of the back and the right side will be up just like i have here so that is how you will do it then you place the two on each other once you place the two on each other make sure the two align together at the shoulder area just like this then we want to shape the shoulder so it depends if you want to extend your neck width you can do that before you shape it out so i'll be extending it by half an inch i have four inches already so i'll make it 4.5 inches so i'm just going to take away half an inch from this like that so for the neck depth i'll be using six inches so depending on how low you want it just like that and what we're going to do is to shape from here to this neck dead and to the other side armhole then i'm just going to shape it i'll be using my free hand then i'll just shape it So just like this and this is what we are going to be taking away so before you you cut it make sure that the front and the back align together very well especially if you are working on the fabric so i will cut it So this is how the front and the back bodies will look like so these are the wrong side of each of the bodies so what we will do now is to now trace out all the dots so i will do the front for this first This is what we have for the front bodies. Then I will trim off the that for the back. 
so i will use this as the guide for the back princess that then i'm just going to separate it into two so like this so this is the sip allowance for this side and this is the sip allowance for the other side so you fold it and then you're going to trim off so you fold it like this and at this side you're going to have this excess around this place so you need to trim that off so that it won't create any unnecessary stress for you when you are fixing the seat so i've cut it out on the fabric as you can see it and i added same allowance around the neckline and the that legs the next thing we want to do is to join all these panels together so this center panel you need to connect this panel you place it on it like this then you sew it you do the same thing to the other side and you need to cut out the lining exactly the same way you cut out the fabric so once you connect the panels together both on the fabric and on the lining you're going to use the lining to turn the main fabric to the wrong side then you do the same thing for the back so i will show you the final outcome of this pieces this is the final look of the pattern it came out okay if you don't want your neck depth to be as low as this you can make use of five inches instead of six inches that i use for this pattern other than that every other thing is nice thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like comment and share then i will see you again in my next